you know, I, I cherish the experience that I had working in the district office for 16 years, working with the financial information uh, and finance office here and working with different agencies because it allowed me to be a better member uh, more quickly because I had some experience. If you want to talk about projects, you want to talk about uh, different infrastructure investments or, or uh, you know, water infrastructure, it's probably best to meet in the district so we can get a bird's eye view of, of the area you're talking about. But you can, I, I encourage anyone to come to the district or to DC, wherever you can get a chance to meet with your member of Congress, do it. But when you're here, uh, be prepared. Understand, sometimes there are scheduling hiccups uh, that happen out here because of votes uh, in the district. Uh, because of a wide variety of issues, maybe even like traffic. Be able to get your point across in about the first five minutes of what you need, and then use the last 10 minutes or so to, to actually go back and forth and, and inform uh, the member or the staffer on the details of your request. Well, you know, I joke around for some members just put big pictures on there. Uh, but, you know, in all seriousness, just be concise and, and have uh, you know, a lot of folks want to come in and talk about just pieces of legislation, but if there are issues and projects in your district, just give a, a, a rundown of what they are. Very quick, very precise. If you come in here with a folder full of stuff, likelihood of somebody to actually go through that folder later is, is, is pretty unlikely. Uh, so have it match what you're talking about in the meeting.